All right. Uh, this is our sketch we did a little bit ago, this farm scene. I'll let you see the photo one more time. And uh, it's a very interesting scene. One thing I look at when I, I kind of squint at that photo, uh, the way we get the sun to shine on these walls is we need to paint around that area pretty dark in order to get that to happen. So I just I want to start out just with the sky wash first. Now this brush is I I don't always clean my brushes after every painting, but uh, this brush has got a little bit of green in it. So I just want to get some blue. I'm going to get uh, Windsor blue and French blue here and kind of mix them together, make a sky color there. And I kind of want that sky to be a little bit dark, but also leave myself the possibility of coming back up into that sky and maybe indicating a little bit of clouds. There are clouds in this one. Whether or not I'll have time to do that or not, I don't know. Got to kind of get this one done this afternoon pretty quick. Okay, let's see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and I just start right up here at the top. Kind of get a graded wash going here. And that's pretty dark, that sky. And then get some water and just start bringing that down. Now I can paint over that roof there. But kind of try to make a an indication of where the light is on these buildings. And I can paint over that roof. I tell you the truth, those roofs aren't too much different than that color really. Still got a little bit of green in this brush, but that's okay. <clears throat> now the side of this barn here, that's in shadow, so, and that's going to help us see the sun shining on those front walls. These will be mostly trees down here later, so I don't really need to concern myself with that too much. Same thing there. And then the front of this garage is also picking up that sun, this side shadowed. Okay, maybe put a little bit of burnt sienna in this wash now. I want this to be darker as I come down towards myself in the, in the, in the image. Uh, not real concern necessarily with the color that I'm using, but just sort of the value, I guess you might say. I will try, if this doesn't dry too fast on me, to throw some color in this. But initially, I just want to get this darker as I come down away from that scene and towards myself, towards where I would be standing. So I'm just kind of progressively making that a little bit darker as I come down this way. And there I just kind of picked off those fence posts. I might come back and just kind of indicate those with just some darker color later. Normally you would try to mask those to save them, but because I don't have a whole lot of time this afternoon, I'm just gonna paint over those for now. Here again, the same thing now. As I come down towards myself, I want that to get darker. All right, try to see if we can throw a little bit of color into some of this, just to see what happens. Okay, maybe like in here, some yellow, same thing up in here. Throw a little bit of that in there. And maybe in here, some burnt sienna. There was a little bit of burnt sienna in some of this. It doesn't really matter, to tell you the truth, a whole lot. 
what you do there. Maybe instead of just throwing red, uh, maybe a purple in here somewhere, I don't know. A couple spots. Same thing down in here. A little bit of red or purple color. Some green. I want to try to save this area right in here. I mean, it's all, I don't really care if that runs down in there at this point, but just kind of save that a little bit because that's where that water is. Not a, exactly sure what I'll do with that, but okay, that big wash is done now. And uh, what I usually do is I wipe the, there's a lot of, because I paint vertically, there's a lot of moisture down here at the bottom, a lot of water down there. So I just kind of dry that across there. And then I try to stretch the paper and I, I do that by pulling on a corner and I loosen the clip and I stretch in a diagonal direction and then replace the clip and then go to the opposite corner. This is only 140 pound paper. So most of you know who have painted with watercolor that when you put a big wash on like this, those are gonna, you know, it's gonna get pretty curly. And I'll wait a little while and then I'll do that a couple of more times. That little place where my finger is or where I made the paint splat right there, that really won't make any difference. That would get matted out anyway. I don't really frame hardly any of my paintings, but if you did frame it, that would get matted out, so you don't really need to worry about it. Okay, uh, let's turn the camera off for a while, and we'll let this dry and uh, put on some more paint in a little bit.